Yo, 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 what's going on my YouTube fam? This is gonna be another maintenance video brought to you by Bruce Custom Motors. So this video is gonna be pretty simple. You know, like I said um, in my previous videos, anytime I do a mod on my vehicle, I'm gonna take you guys through the process and the journey and me actually um, doing it. Cause it will, you know, give you guys the opportunity to see how it's done so if you guys are trying to save some money or you want to know how to do things or some of you guys may not have um uh the right mechanic in your area so that's why i'm doing these videos so you know for the people who follow me who follow me from the beginning you guys know i i have three different categories i have um you know aesthetics to the vehicles i have tuning as well as maintenance so this is going to be a quick maintenance video so if you guys ever re, uh, re, remove your caliper on your vehicle, um, it's important that you know, once you remove your caliper, that um, puts air into the brake lines. It's almost like a vacuum. So at that point, if you press your brakes, it's gonna be really soft. Um, or if you ever even have a, a brake fluid leak or a bad caliper and you see brake fluid, um, leaving your vehicle, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your engine and you're going to want to uh, fill up the actual brake fluid container to the top, seal it off to where no air can get in there. And then from that point, what you want to do is you can grab this from, uh, uh, you can grab this from AutoZone or Raleigh's. It's actually, um, considered a brake bleeder container. So the way that this works is you take this part right here, you're gonna take this in and you're just gonna, you're gonna take this in and you're just basically gonna just put it on right here. So now you have this container um, right here with the brake fluid and that this tube that you see, it actually goes inside of the container into the brake fluid. Okay, so once you put it on there, at that point, you're gonna unloosen this bolt. Once you unloosen this bolt right here, um, it's gonna basically enable the fluid to be able to come through here. So you're opening up this um, passageway of the brake line. So you will have um, air and pressure. So don't fill this up too much because you can get um, brake fluid that can spill out of this when you're pumping, etc. You know, guys, and like I said, you can use a water bottle. As you can see, you just need a tube that can fit from here into a water bottle. Very self-explanatory. Uh, but this this item right here is about seven bucks at AutoZone or Raleigh's Advanced Auto Parts. So to each his own. So at that point, you're going to pretty much go into your car. You're going to press the brakes until they get firm. What that's going to do is it's going to pretty much push all the air out the system into this container right here. Uh, and once that happens, you may notice a, uh, some old brake fluid that's gonna be on here. So we made this color a little bit. And at that point, you wanna just tighten this. And once you tighten this, um, tighten this before you remove the cap. And um, once you tighten this right here, there's a bolt, you put the cap back over and you're good to go. You're at a point right now that where you've bled that brake now, like I said, you definitely can just do one caliper, but to keep it safe, you wanna do all four. And always start from the one, um, the furthest from the master cylinder. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you stop mushy brakes, or if you notice that you're stopping, or you just had a brake job, or you had a leak, and your brakes are mushy, and you're not stopping immediately, and it's not firm, you probably need to bleed your brakes. You know, over time, that can happen, but it's a good maintenance to do, especially if you're tracking your car, or if you just notice that um, you're not stopping quick enough. So yeah, this is a safety tip from Bruce. Um, just showing you guys how to bleed your brakes. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.